In this lesson, we're learning about nuclear transformations. And this is what happens when an unstable isotope undergoes some kind of nuclear decay. It gives off one of those uh, five uh, types of ionizing radiation we talked about in an earlier lecture, and they produce something else. And so let's take a look at this example here. We're going to take a look at radon-222, and it looks like it is producing an alpha particle. 4 over 2 alpha is an alpha particle. And the question is, what goes on this line? What's the other isotope that's produced? Well, this is a, a fairly simple exercise. All we have to do is realize that the numbers on top, on the left side, have to be equal to the numbers on the top on the right side. So left always equals right. So we have 222 on the top on the left side, so we have to have the numbers add up to 222 on the right side. Well, there's a 4 right here, so the missing number would have to be 222 minus 4. So that's 218. And likewise, we have to figure out what number goes on the bottom. Well, on the left side, we have an 86 here by itself. So that means on the right side, the numbers have to add up to 86 on the bottom as well. So there's a 2, and so the missing number is 84. So it's 218 over 84. Now, we do have to have uh, a symbol here. So we have to think about this. What is the element that has an atomic number of 84? Well, we have to look at the periodic table for that, and you'll see that that is the element with symbol PO. And so we would call that an atom of uh, polonium-218. And so that's what's produced in that uh, nuclear transformation. Let's try another example. This time, we have one that's a, quite a bit more complex. Uh, in this nuclear uh, scenario, we have an atom of uranium-238, and it looks like it's being hit with 1 over 0 n. Now, we learned earlier that that's a neutron, and so there's a a nuclear reaction that takes place. That's what the arrow means. And so we have thorium-233, and then we have two neutrons. And so the question is, what is the other product? Well, it's the same process. Numbers on the left have to add up to the numbers on the right. So on the top, on the left, looks like they add up to 239. 238 plus 1 gets us 239. So that means that the numbers on the right have to add up to 239 as well. But when I add up those numbers there, 233 plus 1 plus 1, that's 235. So the missing number is 239 minus 235, so that's 4. And on the bottom, we do the same thing. We have 92 plus 0, that adds up to 92. So the right side has to add up to 92 on the bottom as well but we only have 90. 90 plus 0 plus 0 is 90. So the missing number is just the, the difference there. 92 minus 90 is 2, and so it's 4 over 2. Now, um, if you remember back to our discussion about the ionizing radiation, what has a symbol 4 over 2, or what's the symbol of something that's 4 over 2? Well, that's an alpha particle, and so we need to have an alpha here to show that the alpha particle is what's produced. And so indeed, that is the right answer. It's an alpha particle. Let's try another one. This time, we have carbon-14. 14. 14 over 6C is carbon-14. And that produces nitrogen-14. 14. 14 over 7N is nitrogen-14. So what's the missing isotope, or, or the missing particle here, I should say? Well, once again, we subtract 14 minus 14 is 0. So they have to add up to the same thing on the left and the right. What's the missing number on the bottom? Well, if you said negative 1, you are correct. Because they both have to add up to 6, and we have a 7, so negative 1 makes it add up to 6 on both sides. Now, what has a symbol 0 over negative 1? Well, that, as I hope you will remember, is a beta particle. So we're going to put the Greek letter beta there to show that this is called beta emission. When you have a beta particle as a product, 
We call that beta emission or beta particle emission. Let's try another one. It's a little bit more complex. We have CM, that's the symbol for curium. So curium-246 is being added to carbon-12. And one of the products is NO, that's nobelium-254, and then some other particle as well. So what is it? Well, do the same mathematics here. The 246 plus 12 is 258. And on the right side, we have 254. So what's the missing number? Subtract it. It's 4. 258 minus 254. What's the missing number on the bottom? Well, 96 plus 6 is 102. And then we have 102 over here. So what's the difference between 102 and 102? Well, it's 0. Now, this is where some students have a little trouble because they uh, think uh, 4 over 0. We, we haven't learned anything that's 4 over 0. That's a, uh, that's a, it's a particle of ionizing radiation. So what do we do here? Well, 4 over 0, even though there is no individual particle that's 4 over 0, there is a particle that's 1 over 0. And that's a, a neutron, N. And what about maybe we have four of these. Is that possible that we could have four of those particles? In which case that would add up to four over zero if you were adding them together. So sure enough the answer is four neutrons are the product here. And so that's the way you can write that as well. Let's try one more example, perhaps a bit more uh, complex because we have to write the equation. It says an atom of oxygen 18 undergoes beta decay. What new isotope is produced? So this time we have to write the equation. So we have to write oxygen 18. So just as we learned in an earlier lesson, oxygen is O. The 18 is the mass number and that goes on top. Now we have to refer to the periodic table to see what number goes on the bottom of this symbol. And you look at the periodic table, the atomic number for oxygen is 8. So we put that on the bottom. And it's undergoing beta decay. So that means we write an arrow here to show that there's a, a nuclear reaction taking place. And if there, there's beta decay, that means that a beta particle is the product or one of the products of this process. So I put 0 over negative 1 beta right there as a product. Now we have to figure out what is the new isotope. So this is the this is the part that we have to do the math. So it's just like we did before. 18 minus 0 is 18. And the same thing on the bottom. 8 minus negative 1 is 9. And so it's 18 over 9. And we refer to the periodic table to see that this element is fluorine. It has the symbol F. And so the new isotope that's produced is an atom of fluorine 18. So after uh, working these examples, hopefully you're able to see uh, how to do problems involving a nuclear transformation.